game, concentrating on the defense. Players should be allowed a short water break before moving on. The coach sets out players into a back four and goalkeeper, then plays a high ball to either the goalkeeper or a defender. The player must control the ball quickly with the rest of the players moving quickly into a supporting position. Meanwhile, the red attacking team should apply quick pressure to the ball and attempt to block passing options. The defense must remain composed and attempt to play the ball back out to the coach in the middle. If the red team win the ball then they should immediately attack the goal and the green team must quickly recover their defensive shape to stop the goal. The coach should encourage composure on the ball from the green team and maximize use of the goalkeeper as an additional player. The red team work in waves, rotating the four attacking players each play, depending on numbers. The attack should consist of two wide players and two central players. The coach must allow players freedom to play and should introduce coaching points based on weaknesses identified during play. Play continues for a few rounds or until the coach is ready to move the session on. Attacking play should also be considered, where the coach feeds the ball into an attacking player to begin and the defense must step up and thwart the attack, then attempt to play out to the coach. The coach finishes with a short debrief about coaching points before moving play on to a match. This